this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make a reindeer. Reindeers are really fun. You can make an individual reindeer, or you can use the reindeers to accessorize some other ornaments. Here's an example where I used reindeers from Salto, and I made the little stockings and embellished them with different wood embellishments, cinnamon sticks, some greenery and berries, and pine cones, so forth. For this reindeer, we are going to mix the paint first in water, and then we're going to add the salt dough mixture. If you're not sure how to mix salt dough, select one of my other videos that shows you how to mix together the salt dough recipe. The proportions are one cup of flour to a half a cup of salt and a half a cup of water. Now this is a mixture of the salt and the flour in the right proportions. And I set this aside, and now I'm going to use some brown paint. I like these disposable plastic containers because I can put a lid on them. Put some paint into your container first. And add a little bit of water. You're going to mix the paint and water together. And then we're going to add the salt and the flour mixture until it becomes the consistency of Play-Doh. It's a lot easier to mix your paint and water first rather than try to paint your ornaments afterwards. Just continue to mix things with your finger until the dough starts to form the consistency of Play-Doh. And once you have your dough mixed with the consistency of Play-Doh, it's easier to store it in a plastic bag, but you could put it back in your plastic container and put the lid on. I'm going to store mine in a plastic bag. And then I'm going to wash my hands. I mix some other colors using the same process, putting the paint first and a little bit of water and then adding the flour and salt mixture. So we have some Christmas red, some holly green and some gold. We have our reindeer's antlers and we're going to need one of these two tools to indent the knees and the hooves of the reindeer. One way to lighten the reindeer is to use a little ball of tin foil inside the stomach. I can feel that this dough is a little bit dry, so I'll take a bit of my paste mixture, which I created with a little bit of water and some plain salt dough. You're going to want to knead the ball until it's smooth, flatten it out, and then wrap it around the piece of tin foil. And then roll it in your hands again, smooth it the best you can. Next we're going to take a smaller piece of dough to make the head of the reindeer. I'm after a teardrop type of shape to place the dough in between. Use two fingers and your thumb. Put some of our paste. Now next we're going to create a couple ears. Just a couple pieces of dough. To 
create the legs, take one ball of dough and divide it approximately into two, so both are around the same size. Roll them out. Working on a flat table surface helps to get a smoother leg. Some paste in between. And you can take your paper clip, or if you have a tool, and dent give your reindeer some knees for the arms. Now I'm going to put a little bit of holly, a wreath with some holly around the neck. A garlic press works wonderfully for that. Take your green garlic press and press through a little bit of dough. Put some paste around the neck. Take your tool. use a sculpting tool or if you want to just use a toothpick, press it down. some holly berries. And you can choose to have your reindeer holding something. So this is just a button. Kind of bend up the arm him holding a little Christmas mitten. And that's how you make a reindeer. To bake the reindeer, place the reindeer on some parchment paper on a cookie sheet. If you would like to make sure the transfer happens easier, just have the reindeer sit out and dry for a day. I'm going to accessorize the reindeer. Here's some of the supplies that I use. I like this Prismacolor Fine Pen, it's number 303, and I use a stylus, but you can also use your paper clip. We're going to also basically some makeup rouge and any kind of acrylic black and white paint. 